All right, let's take a look at how to make an end for a coax cable. <clears throat> coax cable is typically what's used for cable TV or something like that. It's usually got a little pin in the center. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put an end on the coax cable. You're going to need some um, RG6 compression fittings. By the way, <clears throat> this is RG6 cable right here. So you're going to need some RG6 compression uh, fittings. You're also going to need um, a coax cutting tool. So this, this tool is definitely going to make your life a lot easier. It's pretty cheap. Um, it's not very expensive at all. And we've got some razors here. You certainly don't want to put your fingers there for cutting and then for uh, prepping the ends right here. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. And then for the compression fittings, you're going to want a compression fitting tool. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. This one's uh, one of the simplest and cheapest. You can get these things on Amazon. It's not going to run you more than a few bucks for each one of them. And then you can make your own coax cable. So let's go ahead and get started. I think one of the very first steps uh, that we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got a new end right here. We don't know how badly this end has been cut. I mean, it looks all right, but it's always a good idea just to start with a new end. So you can see right here we've got kind of a razor thing, and if you, if you um, close it down all the way, you can see the razor's going to cut it all the way off. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that right in there. Use two hands. Boom, we got a new end right there. Um, this end is not ready for a compression fitting yet. In order to get ready for a compression fitting, we need to use this tool. Take a look. You see how it's got a 6 right here and then like a 59? If we wanted to do like RG7 or something, we could flip this razor upside down. But in here, you can see it's got a razor, but it's got like a little hole in the razor. And right here at the end, it's also got like a little stop. So you shouldn't put this cable in too far until you just reach the stop. Um, also, if you look a little bit more closely, it's got two sets of razors, so it's going to make two cuts. I'll show you about those two cuts in just a second. So I'm going to put my RG6 right here until we get to the stop. And then I'm going to go ahead and twist this around, twist it forward. You can hear it cutting a little bit. I'm going to twist it backwards once or twice just to make sure that we get a good cut on this and then pull it off now look what we got here we got the conductor that we really want we got a little bit of plastic that surrounds that an insulator and now we've also got um, a shield on the outside and we've torn the plastic off this is exactly the way we want it to look all right you can see now that I have pulled back this outer braid as much as possible we still have um, just kind of a it's almost like a tin foil coating on the outside we've got a plastic on the inside and then we've got our main conductor on the inside so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take our um, RG6 uh, connector and I'm gonna place that in there and you need to give it a, a good push to get it in there as far as you can and you can see that look the plastic is right up against the wall and um, our uh, connectors just sticking out a little bit that's that's the way we want it to look and now our next step is to use our compression tool this is the ideal compression tool I'm using ideal compression fittings I think it's kind of a name brand for what's going on and you can see there's kind of a slot right here there's even like a little hole right in the middle, so I'm going to want to put my compression fitting in here. And there we got, oh, got to make sure we got, there we go. Compression fitting is in there. Um, all we got to do now, oops, it's hard to do with the camera in front of you. All we got to do now is use two hands. You can see that it's going to push this against this wall right here, and it's going to uh, put a compression fitting on. So let's go ahead and do that. There, that easy. 
Look at that. We have an end. Of course, if you just need one of these, buying these tools and these ends is not necessarily economical, but if you're wiring your house um, or building these for friends or have a job doing this, this is definitely the way to go to buy your own RG6, RG6 connectors, your compression tool, and your cutting tool. There you go.